Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl, Sucker to Win here. And I wanted to make a video discussing something that I've wanted to get off my chest for a while for one. And something I've also mentioned here and there in certain videos that I've done just in passing. And that is why I've dropped Naruto as a series and why, except for one let's play that I did, you won't see anything Naruto related on my channel at all, usually. And that reason would be... the Naruto fandom. The fandom, especially if you are a fan of Sakura as a character, is brutal. They are mean and vicious. And let's just not even mention the pairing wars that went on, but I guess just so you guys know my stance on the whole pairings, Am I happy that Sakura ended up with Sasuke? At first I was okay with it, but since the manga has been over for a little while now, I'm not okay with it. I think that she deserves someone better. Now, did I want it to be Naruto that she ended up with? No. I didn't want her with Naruto either. So, yeah. Honestly, looking back, what I think would have been best for Sakura as a character is she, yeah, is if she didn't end up with anyone. I think she should have stayed single and continued her training. I think that is what would have been best for her as a character. But that's not what happened. We all know what happened. She ended up with Sasuke and had Sarada, which I like Sarada, but yeah. I'm not happy she ended up with Sasuke because he is nothing but a jerk toward her. And there was not enough development to make Sakura and Sasuke, and Naruto and Hinata for that matter, there wasn't enough development to make those couples make sense. Look at Inuyasha as a prime example. Inuyasha and Kagome, spoilers, get together at the very end. Do they make sense? Yes. Why? Because there were hints at the two of them being in love and they flat out, well, Kagome at least, says it in the anime. I don't remember if she does in the manga. I actually haven't read the Inuyasha manga. I need to do that one day. But yeah, I'm strictly going off the anime. Kagome flat out says she loves Inuyasha. And at the end they make sense because their relationship was developed so well and was, it started from the very beginning. It was at a very slow, realistic pace. And by the end, you knew they were in love, they were destined to end up together, and they were. Despite Kikyo nearly getting in the way, but yeah, just... My point is, their relationship was very well developed throughout the entire series starting from the very beginning. So, that's what I mean. Sakura and Sasuke, yes, they knew about each other from the beginning, but of course, Sakura was the only one with any kind of feelings. Yeah, so, there just wasn't enough development for either couple. And, yeah, I just, I'm not happy with how that happened, but, again, it is what it is, there's no changing that. But, back to my point with the fandom, for example, if somebody makes an Naruto video, and it happens to involve Sakura, and I leave a nice comment about her in the comment section. Just as an example, I mentioned this in uh, my old video talking about Sakura, and uh, yeah, say so leave a nice comment about Sakura, she's my favorite character, why would I say anything bad about her? Well, I guarantee you, there will be somebody who will respond to you, reply to your comment, and tell you how you are just so stupid. Sakura sucks. She's useless. She's the worst character in the entire series. It's ridiculous. That is basically what you hear. No joke. That's how mean 
some of the people can be. Uh, even meaner still, towards the end of the manga, there was a scene where Sasuke, so we could go find Naruto, put Sakura in a Genjutsu, and she didn't notice it, I guess because she was emotionally distraught at the time. She should be able to sense that kind of thing, because she's good with Genjutsu, but again, emotionally distraught, so I'm guessing that's why she didn't. And well, Sasuke shows her an illusion of him piercing her through the chest. And that was actually, I think, the cliffhanger for that manga chapter. And in the whole time leading up to the following chapter, where it was shown she was okay, it was just an illusion, people were hoping that she was dead. I'm not kidding, that's how mean some of the fandom is. Why would you... I don't understand that at all. Why in the world... What, what has she done that's so horrible that you would wish that kind of awful thing upon her. You wish her dead. I mean, at the end of the day, she's a fictional character, but still, come on. What has she done that's so, so bad that you wish death upon her? And claim that Hinata is so much better as a character than she is. I just, I don't understand it. As far as how I feel about Hinata, I don't hate her, hate her, but the fandom has pushed me to the point where I nearly do. Because I'm tired of hearing how Hinata is so much better. And yada yada yada, she just... She's so perfect and awesome. Sakura is the one who sucks. I don't... Ugh. It gets so frustrating. Hinata's a nice character. She's really nice. She's sweet. She does support Naruto. I won't take that away from her. She's very supportive. And wants to one day be as outgoing, I guess, as he is, and not afraid. But at the end of the day, Hinata was a side character, and she didn't really have that much screen time or manga panel time, really. So I don't know how you could get that she's so much better when we don't see her that much. I guess in the anime filler you do, I haven't been keeping up, but... Yeah, it's like, he not does a side character, I... Ugh! She's nice, but she's still just a side character. She's... We don't see enough of her to get to a solid conclusion that she is 100% better than Sakura. That's, I guess, my point. Sakura supports Naruto too, and she's actually out there in the battlefield with him every single time. Usually, with a few exceptions, and I'm not trying to paint Sakura as perfect either. Um, she isn't, she's human, she makes mistakes, but really, Hinata does too. Don't make her perfect either. Be fair, I guess. It just, it gets so frustrating. And another thing that I mentioned in this, my uh, Sakura video from a while ago, a long time ago, a lot of the reason that some people actually like Hinata better, she has big boobs. I'm not even kidding. That's not a reason. Period. That's a stupid reason, if any. How about you look at the things that each of them have done? Hinata did help Naruto with pain. I will not take that away from her. She did help the Sakura. I don't remember what she was doing. She was probably healing people on the battlefield. I don't remember. But I can't take that from Hinata. She stepped up when Sakura wasn't there to do it. So credit to her. I have to give that to her. But there are times where Sakura stepped up to the plate too. With Sasori, that's the main fight that comes to mind because that's where she truly shined. So yeah. And other times like in in the early stage of the Naruto, in the force of death, and all that, she stepped up when Naruto and Sasuke were incapacitated. She defended them to the best of her ability at the time, and to try and help even more is why she went to Tsunade and everything. So yeah, but the fandom, all they want to say is how she's useless and horrible, and if you like her, and not Hinata, you pretty much suck. 
it's so frustrating and annoying and it uh it doesn't help that Kishimoto screwed her over a lot in his writing with her. In fact, there was a recent interview where uh, he stated that he always thought of Sakura as a side character and, well, he didn't really care too much about her. So, yeah, and Naruto and Hinata were planned since day one. Yeah, fine, that's all well and good. If Naruto and Hinata were planned from the beginning, fine, I accept that. Again, I don't... I'm not for Narusaku either. I... It doesn't matter too much to me, really. But it is something to bring up. And to say that about her... I guess he makes it flat out clear in the way he's, he's wrote her. He did give her a few moments, though, which does make me question it. I mean, the whole fight with Sasori... She was awesome in that fight. Period. She was... Amazing, and I nobody can take that from her, and nobody can take away the fact that Sakura is actually a good mom either. Sarada, that is something that she definitely is. She is a good mom, so yeah. But yeah, Kishimoto, as I was saying, you gave her moments like the fight with Sasori, uh, learning the uh, Yakugo seal, the uh, my ninja or my tonic regeneration. I think it's called in the dub. The same power that Tsunade has, which obviously makes sense she has that, she's Tsunade's student. Yeah. You gave her stuff like that, but yet you don't care about her. That makes me question that. <laughs> but uh, apparently it came from Kishimoto's mouth, so... And it, it's pretty clear in the, his writing, especially later on in the series, way after Sasori and all that. And it's just... He basically wasted her potential, and the way she's placed in Team 7, she is the lead female. That's just the way it is. She's there with Naruto and Sasuke the whole time. She is the lead female. So, yeah, but yet you didn't care about her and you thought of her as just a side character. It's like... It honestly upsets me, because Sakura, she has so much potential, she really does, and he wasted her. He gave her some moments, and <laughs> I love those moments, they're amazing. But in the end, he rear-ended her. He put her with a guy that never showed an ounce of respect toward her, not even in Gaiden, the 10 chapter spinoff with Sarada and all that. And there was not enough development to make any of it make sense. And it's just... Ugh. And the fandom, like a, the main topic of the video, is just... They are brutal about Sakura, and it gets so frustrating. I don't understand why they want to be so cruel when it comes to her. And it just, it takes me off. To the point where I no longer even care about the series at all. I, I still love Sakura. Despite her flaws, despite what happened with her in the very end of the story, I still love her. I think she's awesome. And I should make something else clear real quick. I did make it clear in my video discussing soccer, which I guess this is also turning into. <laughs> I didn't mean it to end up that way, but I guess it did. But, uh, yeah, I don't just admire Sakura's physical strength. I admire her courage. I admire her intelligence and her inner strength, her inner will of fire, if you will. The fact that even if she's outclassed and outmatched, she is willing to try. She won't just walk away and run and give up. She is always willing to try, and I don't think people give her enough credit for it, especially the fandom. But, yeah, I guess it's what I wanted to get off my chest, it's just, ugh, the Sakura haters annoy me so much, the fandom as a whole annoys me so much, with the stupid pairing wars, the Sakura hate, it just, it's pushed me to the point where I don't care about the series anymore, I don't even want to watch it on Toonami, I'm just, I'm done, I don't care, I still love Sakura, 
but the series I'm done with. I just, I do not care. The fandoms push me to that point, and it's pushed me to the point where I'm right at the border of just hating Hinata. Because some people just paint her as perfect, and she's not, and Sakura isn't, to be fair. And it's just, it's so annoying. It, it really, really is. I know some of you may not agree with everything I've said, but yeah, it, it does feel good to at least get that off my chest. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if I may have gone off on a tangent. I wasn't trying to. But, I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say. And, Naruto fandom, please, chill out and be nice to each other. And if somebody happens to have Sakura as their favorite character like me, be nice to them. Don't go out of your way to make a comment or reply to someone else's comment saying how much the character sucks and they should be dead and you wish they were dead. That is so annoying. And at the end of the day, they are fictional characters. But still, just don't do that. That's not fair at all. Ugh, it's so annoying. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I hope you enjoyed the video and understood what I was trying to say. And until my next video, I'll see you guys next time.